Kaylee Kuoko, the pretty blonde who played the dumb, slutty neighbor and the popular but now canceled TV show The Big Bang Theory, shares what she eats daily as if she's proud of it, believing it's good for her, which proves she's ignorant in real life, at least about nutrition. For breakfast, she drinks an oat milk latte, coffee, with sourdough toast topped with peanut butter. Caffeine is addictive and can be problematic for people who are sensitive to caffeine. If she needs a boost of energy, that indicates that she's not sleeping enough, maybe staying out late, drinking alcohol, and or not eating the right foods. A better caffeine substitute would be green tea. That breakfast could be high in fat depending on how much peanut butter she slathers on her bread and has very low fiber, but it's not a terrible breakfast. I would suggest that she add banana slices to her toast for added micronutrients. I give her a B for her breakfast meal as a grade. Unfortunately, her meal choices go down from here. For lunch, she likes to eat a tuna salad, tuna wrap, or tuna fish with chips. Tuna is high in mercury, and our conservative FDA even recommends that tuna should be eaten no more than once a week. She likes to eat tuna fish daily. Instead of tuna fish, I recommend she mash garbanzo beans with herbs and spices, which is a fiber and nutrient-rich tuna replacement. Notice that her lunch does not contain any fiber unless she's eating tuna fish with a salad. For a snack, she likes to eat a Luna bar, which is really a high-fat candy bar made with sugar, oil, and isolated soy or dairy protein. Dr. McDougall says all protein powders, even vegan protein powders, are toxic because the protein has been isolated, molecularly taken apart, the fiber, carbohydrate, and fat removed. Another snack choice she buys is an $11 high-fat ketogenic smoothie from Juice Ranch called Scotty's Mint Chip. This is another high-fat food she likes which contains the following high fat ingredients, avocado, almond butter, and cacao nibs. While there is nothing wrong or unhealthy with those high fat plant foods, fats should be consumed in small amounts, preferably no more than 10 to 15% of one's total calories for the day. I recommend people make their own smoothies with unsweetened plant milk and frozen fruit. If you want fat in your smoothies, ground chia seeds or flax seeds are good choices since they are both high in omega-3 fatty acids and low in omega-6s. If you need to run out and grab something like a cold drink, Jama Juice makes a vegan smoothie called Apple and Greens that's only 320 calories and made with fruit juice, kale, mangoes, bananas, and peaches. Other snacks she'll grab, which are preferable to the Luna Bar and the ketogenic smoothie, are a rice cake, apples with peanut butter, she likes her fats, or a pear. Fruit is a great snack, but she shouldn't limit her fruit to just one or just once a day. Fruits are an extremely nutritious and contain fiber, nutrients, and water. There are no limits to how much fruit a person should eat. What a person should restrict is fats, not fruit. For dinner, she likes to eat salmon, more fish, which is another high fat food with a baked potato and veggies. All fish contain mercury, PCBs, microplastics, cholesterol, and toxic chemicals. Fish is a poor protein choice. I used to eat salmon too, but now when I want salmon, I make baked tofu salmon with nori. Tofu is high in protein and the nori seaweed contains iodine and omega-3s. Tofu does not contain cholesterol and soy provides phytoestrogens, which are protective against cancer. She gets kudos for the potato and veggies, 
depending on if she puts sour cream on her potato and if the veggies are cooked in oil or butter. I like to stir fry my veggies in either white wine, cooking sherry, vegetable broth, or water. For dessert, she opts for Justin's white chocolate pieces. I couldn't find Justin's white chocolate pieces, but I found Justin's white chocolate peanut butter cups online. So I'm assuming that she eats pieces of the peanut butter cups from Justin's brand. These white chocolate peanut butter cups contain sugar, dairy, and peanut butter. Here she goes again with the nut butter. Sugar is inflammatory and leads to tooth decay. Dairy increases one's risk of numerous diseases and autoimmune conditions. She eats too much nut butter. Notice that she ate peanut butter on toast for breakfast, a smoothie with almond butter after lunch, and the peanut butter cup for her after dinner snack. A healthier option she likes to eat for a snack is popcorn. Popcorn can be healthy or not unhealthy, depending on if the popcorn is covered with butter or oil and a lot of salt. Some people add sugar to their popcorn to make it an unhealthy treat. I air pop my popcorn in the microwave and sprinkle in jalapeno hot sauce, which is sweet and spicy. To sum up Kaylee Kuoko's diet, it's a high fat diet, low in carbohydrates, low in fiber, low in micronutrients, high in mercury and toxins. The reason why she isn't fat from eating all this fat is that her portions aren't huge and she doesn't eat more calories than she burns off. Being slim doesn't make someone healthy. Fat doesn't contain fiber or nutrients. Plant foods contain fiber and those fibers are essential for good gut health. I recommend that she add more fruit and vegetables to her diet, cuts back on the nut butters and swap out the fish for beans and lentils. Kelly Kuoko's diet is another example of someone famous who doesn't have a clue about nutrition, but looks fit and fabulous. Just because someone is rich and famous and has a nice physique doesn't mean that person's diet is ideal. Even though I gave Kaylee Kuoko's diet a harsh review, she eats better than most people. All in all, I would grade her diet a C.